Hi, I'm Chen Lim from the Focal Board team, and I'd like to give you a very quick overview of Focal Board. So what is Focal Board? In a nutshell, Focal Board is an open source, self-hostable project and work management solution, and we intend it to become an alternative to tools such as Trello, Notion, Asana, Jira, etc. It's currently available in three editions. There's what we call Personal Desktop, which is a self-contained standalone app for Mac, Windows, and Linux. You can download it directly from the Mac and Windows app stores or direct download for Linux. There's a self-hostable uh, server called Personal Server that you can self-host on Linux on your own infrastructure. And most exciting, there's what we call Manimos Focal Board, which is Focal Board that's directly integrated with Manimos, starting in the 536 release, which is, which is, which is the June release. Uh, for more details on everything Focal Board, head over to focalboard.com, and where you'll also find a link to a 10-minute demo video, which is on, on YouTube. So let me take a minute to talk about why you might be interested in Focal Board. I can think of kind of a short-term reason and a longer-term reason. So the short-term direct reason, I would say, is that Focal Board provides a self-hostable, enterprise-grade project management solution. And this is in the context and market where a lot of commercial vendors are forcing the customers to cloud-only offerings. So for example, uh, Atlassian just announced that Jira and Confluence on-prem have been deprecated, and that's going away. And we all know that most major vendors are really pushing their cloud solutions very hard and haven't actually updated their on-prem solutions in years, if ever again. So in this context, Focal Board gives you full control over your infrastructure and data with a self-hostable solution that you can host on-prem, in your private cloud, etc. I think the longer term uh, reason and benefit that Focal Board will ultimately bring is tight integration between uh, what we call, uh, I guess what Gartner calls work stream collaboration and collaborative work management, or what we think of as messaging and project management in, in Mattermost. So again, the goal of Focal Board is to provide, uh, over time, tight integration between the messaging features in Mattermost and the new features, uh, the new project management features that, that it brings. And the benefit of all this is that it lowers friction in your day-to-day -day work and increases ulti ultimately increases productivity in your teams. So quick note on Manimos Focal Board. Again, it's shipping with Manimos 536. So if you install or upgrade to 536, you can follow the steps in the release notes to enable Focal Board and start using it. You'll see a new Focal Board button appear in each channel header. Clicking on that will open a workspace that's accessible to members of that channel where you can create boards and perform all the uh, basic functions of, of Focal Board, or it's basically Focal Board that's in, in a workspace or tied to a channel. Uh, or you can check out the early preview, which is available on community.manimos.com. So I'll take a minute to talk about the maybe three-year vision of uh, Focal Board. So the long-term goal is to establish Manimos as a top contender in what's called the enterprise collaborative work management space. And here's a snapshot at our three-year plan, if you will. Uh, in what we call year one, so 2021, our goal is to achieve 80% core feature parity with these reference applications, Trello, Notion, and Asana. And what that means is we want to build and deliver the features that 80% of those users care about. And we also want to start building towards tight integration with the rest of Manimos. And this will, of course, happen over time, but we're going to invest month after month on really blurring the lines between Focal Board and the rest of Manimos. What does year two look like? You know, things start to get a little fuzzy, but we're looking at things such as wiki pages, which might be, you can, might think of that as a Confluence competitor, uh, workflows, automations, etc., integrations with third-party tools, and analytics. Um, one thing I want to call about analytics is that the data that's stored in your collaborative and project management solutions is, is extremely valuable. And so that's an additional benefit of having them tightly integrated because you can perform analytics on them to get a very detailed view at what work is actually happening and where things are at. What does year three look like? Things get fuzzier there. And again, our goal is to become an enterprise-grade collaborative work management platform uh, or a leader in that space. And a goal would be to be able to replace an industry-grade solution such as Jira. So let's zoom back into where we are today. So right now, as we're recording, we're in June. And our goal is to ship with Manimos 536. That's actually working today in 536 RC1. So you can go check it out today, as, uh, as I mentioned. Um, there's also a link to a, a V1 roadmap announcement on GitHub uh, or on our website that you can go check out. For, for more details. What does the next three months look like? So here's what to expect coming up next in July. We intend to enable Focal Board on Manimos Cloud, so you can use it that way as well. Uh, that's gonna involve a whole bunch of infrastructure work. And we wanna start work on additional views, such as the calendar view and what's called the group table view. So a lot of products have what's called a list view, which is a basic list of, 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 uh, of tasks. We think a group table view is actually a more powerful view than that. So we're gonna deliver that next month. Uh, additional properties are also coming, so date, user, and multi-select properties, as well as infrastructure improvements such as for logging and auditing. 
August, we're going to invest, start investing more in uh, integration work. So there's something called the Global Nav Bar, which is coming soon. There will be features such as property calculations on tables and, and boards. And we intend to invest you know, even more in our infrastructure, in uh, performance and other things. September, we have what's called the Personal Dashboard, which brings a bird's eye view of all your workspaces in, in one place. And also investments in improving the sidebar navigation and other navigation. And the Pages feature, which is you can think of that as kind of the V1 step towards that, that wiki page uh, feature that, that I mentioned. So here's a laundry list of other items that we're looking at for V1. So improving the comment system to support things like ad mentions, and maybe we can integrate messaging threads with the, the comments. That's, that's the current thinking. Unfurling cards in messaging. So when you paste a link in your chat, it actually shows you a preview of that card. Integrating with the Manimals user. So and again, uh, over time, tighter integration with systems like, like the user system. A user presence indicator to show you who's editing what and what we call the advanced editor. And there's a question mark there because this will probably be something that happens over time. But essentially, that's what we think of, that is what we think of as a more advanced version of the Markdown editor. Uh, improvements to the template dialogues and other uh, user experience improvements, as well as additional enterprise features such as integration with compliance export and data retention. So there's a quick snapshot of what's coming up next. Here are four things you can do today to help Focal Board succeed or give us feedback. Uh, number one, of course, use Focal Board yourself. Again, please download or upgrade to 536 and follow the steps to enable Focal Board and start using it today on your own systems or check out the, the early preview. Uh, please engage with the Focal Board team. We're a friendly bunch and we really welcome feedback and, uh, and questions and comments. Uh, you can find us on the public Focal Board community channel. And I want to emphasize again that Focal Board is an open source product and the best way to influence the future of Focal Board is through GitHub, through feature ideas and bug reports on GitHub. We really, really welcome those. And of course, PRs, if you have those as well. Um, one more thing you can do is uh, check out our Twitter mentions and engage with, us on, engage with us on Twitter. And maybe I'll leave you with this question, which is, you know, how can we better integrate the features in Focal Board with the rest of Manimal? So if you have thoughts and ideas on that, you know, please let us know. And that's it. It's a very quick tour of Focal Board. Thank you so much.